in this lesson, we're going to take a look at this idea called the counting principle, which you watched a little bit prior to this, and also going into making a tree diagram. There are times when you just want to know how many different options are there. When you go down through and say, oh, you have three of this, two of this, and five of this. Okay, well, how many different options do I have? So, for instance, I have a drink, three choices. A meal, four choices. Dessert, two choices. How many different meals, combinations, could I put together? How many different possible outcomes are there? The counting principle is the fastest way to go through and do this. I have three of my first event, or three options in my first category. My second category, I have four. My third category, I have two. Fastest way, multiply. That is the counting principle. The fundamental counting principle is to take how many of each category you have, multiply them together, three times four, 12, times two, 24. There's 24 different possible meal setups you can have using this. Now, beyond that, there are times where you actually want to see what your possibilities are. For instance, how many of those 24 gives you fish and ice cream? Well, there's a couple ways to do this. One, you could simply start listing out. Well, I could have a soda, beef, ice cream. And I just went straight across. Next up, I could have soda, beef, but I could pick the other dessert, cake. Well, that takes care of soda leading off. Oh, wait, I could have soda, chicken, ice cream, soda, chicken, cake. And notice what's happening. Like, I'm listing it. It's going in order, but this is going to take a little bit to get all 24. So what you can do is make a tree diagram. And I'll give you the example of it. It takes a little bit, but once you get the hang of it, it is kind of a fast, easy way to organize your data. I shouldn't say data, but your, your choices, your outcomes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at my first option, drink. I have three choices. So I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to make a set of branches for my first option. I have three. And I'm going to kind of spread these out, because I know I'm going to need more room for my other branches. This is my first choice. Soda, milk, water. next set of branches is going to be my second option. For every drink I pick, I still could have picked beef, chicken, fish, or veggie. So let's do this. One, two, three, four. Beef, chicken, fish, veggie. Now those four choices does not matter what drink I had. So if I pick milk, I still have to list those four. Beef, chicken, fish, veggie. Doesn't matter if I chose water. I still have those four choices. One, two, three, four. Beef, uh, chicken, fish, veggies. That was the second choice. I'm ready for my third choice, dessert. It doesn't matter what I pick to drink. It doesn't matter what I pick to eat. For my dessert, I have two choices. One, two, one, two, one, two. Ice cream, cake, ice cream, cake, ice cream, cake. Have so soda with that ice cream. Last part up just well, so I could soda. finish out my beef. Ice cream, there's tree diagram. So, and what I did is I went through um, and looked the values chicken, ice cream, like that's that's just one cost. Soda, fish, okay, ice soda, cream, that's dollars, three, milk, three soda, dollars, uh, water, uh, and I'll use that in a second. Ice cream, that's four. But when you do a tree so diagram, four, by the way, this out of the 24, that's how many times. That's my probability of getting that. 
I have to ask. Remember the chance of water times four water times, four four times two. two. Are there 24 water, water comes across water. the bottom? That's how you would check. So I got to go down a branch. I have to go down the branch that has leaves. Water to B. And I have to finish my path until I get to the yes, bottom. Yes, it works. Oh, I could have had water. All this is ice cream. the That's fleshed water. out version. I could have seen exactly all the different cake. options. That's two. So water. So I forget what I said earlier. Like how many times out of the 24, of the 24 choices total did you have soda and ice cream? Well, here's how. Start at the top, work my way down the soda branch. There's a lot of different because questions. That's what I asked for soda, soda and ice cream. Diagram. Now, how many the soda branch contain beef? So I got to kind of bypass this one, two, first three, row four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, 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 eight first possible row. choices I can go. Beef. How many of these two paths have soda beef. with ice cream? Three, four. Well, beef. Soda. Five, beef. six. Ice cream. Six. There's one. The 24. Soda. Um, and what was that? Chicken. Ice cream. That's two. Now, so why did I put the number ice cream? That's I bring the cost soda. here because uh, veggie, veggie, this ice cream, that's four. How many of the 24? So that's four, four out of the 24. That's how many times. That's my probability of getting that. How many more greater than 20 dollars? What's the dollars? chance of water and I beef? I put the numbers in because now that it's fleshed it's out, water. here's water, you can kind of now do so some adding. So i got to go down a branch. Total. I have to go down a branch so that has beef. things bigger than 20. Water, beef. And I have to finish I'm my path down, down my list. Five. Two plus no, I could have had water, beef, beef, four times ice cream. Cream. That's this one. Fifteen. I could have had water, beef, two Cake. plus ten That's two. plus five. So 17. water and beef accounts for two out of the twenty-four. That total wasn't over out twenty that I could have. And there's a lot of different questions now, you can ask. There are faster ways to do this. I just how many options contain beef, beef with. Uh, so I gotta kind of bypass the second first row because there's no beef in that first row. Let's look row. at the Here's next second one. The next beef, beef is also going to be 15 two. and 17. Beef. But the only thing that Three, changed four. was beef. My drink, Five, my six. drink was one dollar less. Six of the 24. So these are going to be the same beef. values as this. Now, but it's why did I put the numbers in? Drink was the cost here because so I can go here. This was this was 15, but it's one less now. 14. Where the other beef was twenty dollars. Seventeen now is going to be sixteen. So I'll put circles around. How many were boxes? greater than twenty dollars? I put the numbers in because here. now that it's fleshed out, you can kind of now do some adding and come up with your totals. So I'm looking for things bigger than twenty. I'm going to run down my list. Two plus ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is fifteen. 2 plus 10 plus 5, 17. Now we want to find the cost of the others. There are faster ways to do this. We just did beef. Uh, we did drink beef ice cream, drink beef cake. That was 15 and 17. Now the other beef is going to be the same cost. The only difference is the drink cost was different. The drink is one dollar more than this. So if this was fifteen and seventeen, the two dollar drink, this is going to be fifteen and seventeen, but it's going to be plus one each time because the drink was one dollar more. So instead of fifteen and seventeen, I'm going to write sixteen and eighteen. Again, the beef meal, beef and ice cream, 15, beef and uh, cake, 17, and that's including the soda. The milk was $1 more, so I added a dollar to both of those, so now it went from 15 and 17 to 16 and 18. Now I'm going to go to the water. It used to be 15, 17, the water's a dollar less, so I'm going to reduce these both by a dollar. Beef, 14, 16. So I don't have to go through every single branch path and add everything up. All I did was the first one and then just adjusted my numbers from there. Let's try the next one and see how this works. Okay, soda, chicken, ice cream. 10 plus 3, 13. 10 plus 5, 15. Let's take these two numbers, 
add them over here. My drink is one dollar more, so I'm going to raise these by one, 14 and 16. Let's take these, move over to the water. The water is one dollar less, so I'm going to reduce each of these, 12 and 14. Two more rounds to go. I'm going to see if I can go just a little quicker. Soda. Uh, what's F? Fish. Ice cream. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 plus 5, 15, 16, 17. 15 and 17 are my new numbers. And guess what? It's the same as what I had before for my B. 15, 17, 15, 17. 16, 18. 16, 18, okay. 15, 17, 16, 18, 14, 16, 14, 16. I only got one more to go. Soda, veggie, ice cream, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. 5 plus 5, so now I'm doing soda, veggie, and cake. 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, so I have 10 and 12. My drink got $1 more expensive in the next batch of branches over. 10 and 12 now becomes 11 and 13. And I'm kind of squeezing it in here. I'm running out of room. 10 and 12 becomes a dollar cheaper in the far branches. 10 and 12 now drops to 9 and 11. Whew. Seems like a lot, but there are faster ways to go through it. These bottom numbers in the boxes represent the total cost of all the 24 different meal choices I had. Now, again, we could have done a list, but a tree diagram sometimes helps visualize all of my different paths that I could go, starting at the top, Drift, or, uh, traveling my way down through each topic to the branch at the bottom. So I originally asked, what's the chance out of my 24 that one of the meals is higher than $20? Looks like none of them. They're all lower than $20. So you could change the question and ask it differently. How many are 17? Uh, there's a 17. Two. No others. So I have two that are 17, two out of the 24. This is a very uh, detailed explanation of one problem. I had three choices, drink, meal, dessert, three layers of branches, drink, meal, dessert, all showing you the 24 different outcomes that you can have.